The countdown is on and the excitement is building at several of Utah's epic wilderness areas for the Ring of Fire solar eclipse. Yeah, this is cool. Uh, the new specialist Lad Egan shows us the preparations at Bryce Canyon National Park. Lad? Park officials at Bryce Canyon say that they expect the parking lots inside the park to fill up very early in the morning on Saturday, October 14th. They do say that shuttles will be available. And Bryce Canyon is celebrating its centennial this year, and they say the upcoming annual or solar eclipse will serve as sort of a grand finale to all the celebration. This is now a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see an eclipse path directly over Bryce Canyon. The next one won't occur for hundreds of years. The Bryce Amphitheater with its red rock hoodoos promises a stunning backdrop to see the ring of fire in the sky, which happens because the moon doesn't completely block the sun, leaving a circle of light. If the weather cooperates, the eclipse will be visible in Bryce Canyon National Park starting around 9 in the morning. This eclipse is going to peak at around 10.30 a.m., so that's going to put the sun right over the Bryce Amphitheater and all the rock formations along the eastern edge of the plateau. So there really won't be a bad place in the park to see it. Bryce Canyon says the annular eclipse in 2012 brought more than 10,000 visitors to the park. And it says even more people are aware this time around. And they expect next Saturday to be a very busy day. Man, this is just a great time to come see Bryce Canyon National Park. And the early mornings, the sun rises, the air is crisp. And it is just a beautiful time. The excitement is good news for nearby Ruby's Inn, located just outside the entrance to the park. We're excited. Uh, it's a busy time. People are booking hotel rooms, and we're making plans, and uh, we're, we're looking forward to welcoming people down here for the eclipse. Ruby's Inn general manager Lance Syrett says rooms are still available, and they've got plenty of food for families and gas for cars. Syrett says tourism businesses in the area are barely recovering from the pandemic and encourages visitors to visit local restaurants and stores. Ruby's Inn, we actually they own some private land on the rim of Bryce Canyon, and we're going to open that up as overflow for visitors who do want to have that special experience. And an important safety announcement. There is no safe way to view the eclipse without proper eye protection, and sunglasses will not work. Both Ruby's Inn and the Bryce Canyon Visitor Center will have eclipse glasses for sale. Back to you.